On this episode of Screencast a Week, we take a look at paste and match style, a super useful feature of OS X that lets you paste stuff in from the web without messing up the formatting of your email messages and other documents. Hello, people of the internet. Welcome back to Screencast a Week. Just a reminder that I'd love to get your support for the show. Head over to patreon.com slash screencast a week. You can chip in a couple of bucks per episode, get those episodes a week early, get high quality video downloads of every episode, whatever you want. So on with the show. What we're looking at this week is an annoying thing that happens when you copy and paste text from the web and from other formatted text sources. So if we take a look at this page, which happens to be my Patreon page, and if I select this paragraph of text, let's say I want to send it to someone in an email. If I command C to copy this text and then open up a new email message, Then when I go into the body of the message and paste it in, you can see the exact formatting from the web is duplicated here. Now, you can tell that Mail is trying to do its very best to give you exactly what you copied off the web, but the reality is that in most cases, having this formatting pasted into your email message is only going to mess things up. If I try and keep typing, you can see that the text that follows is in bold, and the text that I pasted is in a larger size than my signature. If I pasted this into a email message that I had already written something in, then um, you know the text that I type after pasting might not match the formatting of the text that I typed before pasting, and you get a really ugly and unprofessional looking result. Fortunately, there's paste and match style. So if I undo my changes there and instead go to the edit menu and go down way past paste to find paste and match style. If I click this button instead, there you go. You can see the text of what I copied off the web has been pasted in, but none of the formatting has. And you end up with nice consistent formatting. Sure, if I wanted the end of that sentence to be in bold just like on the web, I'd have to come back and reapply that formatting, but that's relatively easy to do and you get this nice consistent formatting and it really makes you look like you know what you're doing with your computers, right? Now this paste and match style menu item isn't just in mail. In fact, most Mac apps that deal with formatted text, whether that's pages or numbers or third-party apps as well, they all tend to have this paste and match style menu item. Sometimes it's right under the paste menu item, but it's almost always on the edit menu somewhere if you go looking for it. And the other thing is that it usually has the same keyboard shortcut. So if you're used to command V for paste, well, Option Shift Command V is paste and match style. That might seem a little difficult to remember, but if you lay your fingers out on the keyboard to hit the Shift, Option, and Command keys, and then V with your other hand, um, you'll get used to that motion if you do this more than a couple of times. Uh, if not, well, the menu item is always there for you to remember, but I've kind of trained my fingers into paste and match style. Now, paste and match style isn't just in mail. In fact, it's in just about every Mac app that deals with formatted text. Things like pages and numbers and even third-party apps like Evernote. Evernote used to really annoy me because its keyboard shortcut for paste and match style is Shift Command V, which is inconsistent from every other app that has this function, uh, which uses Option Shift Command V. But they must have gotten my emails because in a recent version, they made it so that the standard keyboard shortcut, Shift Option Command V, also does paste and match style in Evernote. So my fingers that are trained with that keyboard shortcut work just fine in Evernote as well. Paste and match style. It's one of those features that when you see it on the menu, you think it's this advanced thing that you're never going to use. But in fact, it's really useful and it really makes you look like you know what you're doing. Rather than sending around emails with messed up formatting, you can get perfect looking text every time. Thanks again for watching Screencast a Week this week. I really appreciate it. Head over to patreon.com slash screencast a week to support the show. And I'll be right back here next week with another Screencast a Week. I'm Kevin Yank. Bye.